the castle over there. about 15, 18 feet at its deepest point and all the dirt from this was used to build up the land because this was all swamp and marshland. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you're walking around Magic Kingdom, you're actually about 15 feet above ground level. Oh, okay. The other lake, uh, spring fed <laughs> okay. 30, 35 to 50 foot at its deepest point. Wow. And what we did is we capped it off. We dredged this out, built the water bridge we just came across. Okay. Uncapped it, filled them both up, and then recapped it. Wow. Wow. This is beautiful. I love the work you all do. Thank you. Yeah, when Walt envisioned this, he wanted you to have to leave the real world behind to come to fantasy. That's why our parking lot for Magic Kingdom is across the lagoon over here. Oh, so You actually have to travel either by monorail bus or ferry boat to take it and get to wow. this park. We have over 47 square miles of property here. We're twice the size of Manhattan Island. Wow. And uh, a lot of the land was bought under uh, fictitious company names. So by the time the people actually caught on to what was happening, it was too late. Because it, when he built in California, he got landlocked. Right. He, could, he couldn't expand. Right. You can fit Disneyland and all of that surrounding property into one third of our park. That's wow. how small it is. Wow. And we've only developed about one tenth of the property that we have here. So the rest is all conservation. Yeah, we can we can expand. But the I think the way it goes, we have an agreement with I think the EPA that if we want to build another park, say five hundred acres, we need to take and buy five hundred acres someplace else. Okay. So that way, that way, you know, the bulk of it's all conservation land for the animals and stuff. That's a uh, Grand Floridian, okay. styled after Hotel Del Coronado in California. Oh. Yeah.